what's going on YouTube for those of you just stopping by for the first time do me a real quick favor see a little red subscribe button down below go ahead and push that show you support for the channel for those of you returning just to see what I have today welcome back to TLTG reviews my friends so back home it was a real fun trip in Louisiana it was good to see all my friends and family and uh, just for a few of you because I know this bothers you it was good seeing you guys um, <laughs> anyways uh, what I have today so I was thinking we can do an individual review on one of my recent steals that I got from my Marshalls haul uh, and that fragrance we're talking about today that's gonna be Aramis Adventurer so quite surprised at this one as you can see I put a little bit of a dent in it so far I've spent a little time with it over the last two days um, it's definitely an interesting scent you can find it pretty regularly at Marshalls and TJ Maxx for $25 for the 3.7 ounce bottle this is a 110 ml, I believe, yeah, 110 milliliter bottle. Um, definitely looks, it's kind of strange if you're used to seeing Aramis with the gold juice, whether it's the original modern leather uh, or everybody's favorite in mine, Tobacco Reserve. You used to having a golden juice, having that blue juice, it's an adjustment. But actually, considering how basic Aramis's bottles are, it kind of looks cool like that. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with this. Uh, just kind of run through the notes, give you an idea, and then we'll really talk about what I get from it because this is a different smell. As far as what I have in my collection, this is actually quite unique. So release year on this was 2014. It's not really new. It's been out for about five years now. It's classified as a woody aromatic, and it's a very fitting classification for it because it is indeed a woody aromatic smell. Uh, top notes are lemon, bergamot, and black pepper. Mid notes are geranium, lavender, and wormwood. And on the base, you're looking at patchouli, cedar, and seaweed. I know, seaweed, interesting. Um, so right off the bat with the presentation, it's absolutely nothing special. It's your standard Aramis bottle that's been around for years and years. Uh, the cap is pretty snug, even though it doesn't click into place. Your standard Aramis atomizer, kind of basic, long. Uh, does have a very wide spray. So you don't have, when you spray this one, you gotta get close, otherwise it's gonna cover the whole side of your face. Um, so what do I get from it? Right off the top, it's a very sharp opening. Um, I think the lemon's really what makes it real sharp and just have that bite to it. Um, it's a very citrus, kind of bitter and aromatic opening. Um, the citrus tends to fade pretty quickly. I would say about 15 minutes into it, that lemon's really gone. The bergamot and the wormwood kind of give it this bitter quality that kind of remains throughout on the entire life of the fragrance. Um, when you start getting into the dry down, I actually do have the dry down on my arm. It's my scent of the day today. It's kind of, it's got a light woody base with that cedar and you really start to get kind of a saltwater marine quality from that seaweed. Um, it doesn't make it really salty. Not like a Bulgari Aqua Atlantique or, or really, really salty like a Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense. But it get, it's like picture smelling salt water, as weird as that may sound. That's kind of what you get from it, and it's a little on the creamy side. I don't really get the patchouli from it, uh, but I do get that wormwood throughout. It gives it a bitter quality from start to finish. It starts to subside a little bit as it dries down, but it, you can still smell it in the background. It's definitely a very unique smell, to say the very least. Um, it's very fresh spicy and if you've watched any of my videos in the past you know that's like my favorite accord I love fresh spicy I, I'm like everybody else I like my citrus aquatics and stuff like that but I'll take a good fresh spicy fragrance over that any day because uh, fresh spicy for me that's three seasons this is a three season fragrance don't just think summer when you hear about this you see it you see any other reviews this is a spring summer and early fall type of fragrance. When it starts to cool down, maybe not something you're really looking for in the late fall, but early fall, like over here in Houston, it's still, I mean, once we get to even early November, it's still in the 80s most days. I mean, that's far from cold to say the least, especially with the humidity. But on the presentation, like I said before, it's nothing special. It's your standard Aramis bottle. Got the little Aramis sticker on the front. What separates it is that blue juice standard cap and atomizer so presentations just it's bleh it's kind of bland so we're looking at a five out of ten on presentation uh now like i was saying before with what you get out of this scent that kind of helps this thing's overall rating because the scent quality on this one i'm actually going to give a seven out of ten not the greatest thing i've ever smelled not the worst either but it's different enough to warrant a decent rating 
for something that you can get so cheap. If you saw my Trash or Treasure video, um, I actually did get this on clearance for $3. Mind-blowing. I'll buy any fragrance for $3. It's worth a shot, especially one that I know is going to smell better than a $3 fragrance. This is not a $3 fragrance by any means. So your performance is kind of where the price point justifies itself because this is by no means a powerhouse. Nothing beast mode about this one. Uh, on the longevity, I did get six hours on my skin the last two days, and it did stay relatively strong on my shirt because I always spray my shirt, and I can still smell it on my shirt. You get about seven hours when you spray your clothes, which kind of borders it. If you're not one that likes to spray your clothes, you're looking at that five and a half, six hour range. If you do spray your clothes, you're definitely going to get every bit of seven. So that kind of sticks it right in the middle of two ratings. It's not a six, it's not a seven. So out of longevity, I'm giving it a 6.5 out of 10. So when you get into projection, that's another spot where it suffers. For the first hour, you're getting an arm's length. It's going to push a little bit. People are going to smell you. But once it really dries down, it's a, it's not a skin scent, but it's sitting really close to the skin. You can smell you, and it's aromatic with the lavender. So it will waft in the air a little bit, but it's not like a Mont Blanc Legend spirit where it wafts enough to, to really grab somebody and pull them in. People got to be kind of close to you. To smell you so in the projection category I'm gonna go six out of ten so with this kind of roller coaster of ratings that it has from all these categories overall this is a six out of ten fragrance not a bad fragrance not a mind-blowing amazing must-have fragrance if you see it out in the wild you feel it's justifiable for the price of 25 by all means grab it I didn't think it was justifiable for 25 Three dollars, everything's justifiable, but you can catch them on clearance probably in that fifteen dollar range when they first start marking them down. Eighteen, seventeen, sixteen dollars. In my opinion, it's worth a buy right there. Had I ran across it sooner in that price range, I would have grabbed it. Um, not back up, not backup bottle worthy to me. Um, I don't see myself getting a backup bottle of this like I did with Tobacco Reserve. I got a three point seven ounce and a two ounce of that because after I bought the big bottle and smelled it and sprayed it on myself, did a little testing. I fell in love with it, so the next time I saw it, I didn't even wait around to see another big bottle. I grabbed a two ounce, and now I'm seeing it all the time again. It is what it is. Um, that one's readily available, too. We'll discuss that more once we get into the fall. But not a bad scent. Six out of ten. It's, it's okay. It's not a must-have, in my opinion, but if you want something different for the hot weather that's not going to smell like anything else you have in your collection, then it's worth a buy. It's It's unique. I'll give you that. Um, that's all I really want to discuss today. Not a long video. Uh, nothing crazy to discuss. Uh, just happy to be back home. Uh, at the recording of this video, I'm two away from hitting 200, 200 subscribers. I greatly appreciate that, guys. So with that being said, since I'm two away, if this is your first time, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Help your boy out. Looking for another milestone. We're about to hit 200 before you know it, 500, 1,000, and so on. Uh, trying to get this thing as big as we can. I appreciate y'all watching this. I appreciate everybody enjoying the content because I absolutely love doing these videos. I mean, it, if you're a regular of mine, you notice I do at least, bare minimum, four videos a week. Here lately, it's been five or six videos a week because it's just it's fun to me. I love talking about fragrances. And a lot of you seem to enjoy hearing me talk about fragrances. So, as always, guys... Until next time, if you get your hands on this one, I'm pretty confident you'll thank me later. Have a great night.